Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. In this demo, I'm going to show you how the countdown timer works in VBA. Now, this is obviously a promotion for the ongoing VBA classes that I'm running. So I have built a small countdown application in Excel that reminds you how much time you have got to enroll into our VBA classes. So let's get started. What you have here is a VBA classes registration closing times around the world application that I have designed in Microsoft Excel. It is a pretty simple application. The way it works is like this. We have got a bunch of hotspots. These are clickable buttons uh, that are spread throughout the world map. And if you click on any one of these hotspots, uh, our little application will tell you how much time you have got as per that hotspot. Now, as per our VBA classes launch plan, we will be closing the registrations on uh, 20th of May 2011, 11.59 p.m. That's 11.59 midnight as per Pacific time. Now, there is a small limitation in this application. So I think it's important to understand that limitation before demoing this. It is that uh, this application does not know where your computer is located. So it just assumes that uh, if you click here, we will just assume your computer is there and uh, we will just use your computer's current time as the time in Japan. This, this hotspot corresponds to Japan. So, and if you click here, we'll just assume your computer is located in Australia and the current time on your computer is Australian time. Since I am sitting in India and recording this video, it is appropriate that I click here and uh, the current time in India as shown here will match that. So let us just, uh, you know, for example, hypothetically, if I click here, and it's, it says uh, the time in Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco and all those places is 10.25 uh, a.m. on 16th May. And as per that time zone, the closing time is 20th May, 11.59 p.m. Okay, so you can see that uh, we have about four days of time left. It shows the current time as per that uh, at that time of click, but you can also enable the countdown timer and every second this gets updated. You can see this and this gets changed every second, right? So this is how the countdown thing works. And this button is active until the countdown time left is at least one second. After that, this button gets deactivated. So it's pretty uh, smart in that way. Of course, you can always visit the URL. The only thing is uh, you won't be able to purchase. The second thing that you can do is, apart from these nine hotspots, you could also select a city like, you know, you can select Bangkok. And we will just show you the time left in Bangkok. Now remember the limitation here is that your computer must actually be in Bangkok and your local time should be set to the Bangkok time. Only then this works. Uh, since figuring out your local time zone based on your computer settings could be a bit tedious process through VBA. I just left that out. But you could as well add that functionality. Now I'm not going to explain the whole uh, how this works in this video. But you can examine the code in this workbook by, you know, right clicking on the tab names and saying view code. Uh, this worksheet is unprotected, so you can go ahead and play with it and learn how this is constructed. But the most important message is here that if you would like to learn VBA and if you would like to create applications like this as well as some really awesome ways in which you can automate your work, especially report generations and uh, modeling and things like that, then joining our VBS, VBA classes would be a prudent thing to do. We have got a great curriculum, we have got a great set of faculty and we are really eager to help as many people as possible in this edition of our VBA classes. It would be a lot of, uh, uh, you know, fun if you join us and continue this journey for the next three months in the VBA classes. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Chandu from Chandu.org. We hope to see you in VBA classes. You have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.